Take a look at the following figure. It represents the plan and section views of a distilling column and its associated condenser. This column is used in refineries to separate propane from butane and heavier components. Butane is recovered at the bottom of the column. While propane is recovered overhead. Propane is passed through the condenser and then to downstream equipment. The objective of this section is to design the propane pipe that connects the column overhead nozzle to the condenser nozzle, as highlighted here. In addition, the pipe should be equipped with a pressure gauge to measure the operating pressure of the column. This is needed for process control. The flow orifice must be incorporated to measure the flow rate of propane exiting the column. This is needed for material and energy balance purposes. Now, by designing the propane pipe, we mean to find the piping configuration and layout, the necessary fittings, their wall thickness and rating, the necessary flanges, their rating and face types, the type and characteristics of valves if applicable. This actually depends if we want a device to start, stop, or throttle the flow of propane through the overhead pipe. The pipe characteristics in terms of nominal size, outside diameter, wall thickness, and pound rating. The method of connection, that is butt welded, socket welded, flanged, or threaded connection. The instrumentation requirements. The pipe support requirements. The insulation requirements. Piping clearances and spacing. Pipe labeling and the necessary pipe drawings, including equipment, location drawings, piping arrangement drawings, and piping isometrics. We will assume, for the sake of demonstration, that this propane pipe falls under the A15 piping class. Recall, the A15 piping class was discussed in a previous video. Now, the step-by-step -step design method consists simply in answering each of the items highlighted here. So if you are ready, then please proceed to the next video to learn about this piping design method.